I'm excited for you to join me again today for another knit instruction pattern. This will be a knit ear warmer or headband using one of the versions of the honeycomb knit stitch. This version is really relaxing and simple. I chose this because I wanted it to be a fun, simple, easy, quick, and quick gift type item. This is great for the holidays or someone's birthday or for yourself because this one is definitely staying in my stash. So I chose size seven, 4.5 millimeter knitting needles. These you can get on knitpicks.com. I love these ones, just some straight needles. I also use a wooden ring. Sometimes these are actually called baby teethers at the um, craft store, but you can also get them online. Some scissors, a, definitely a tapestry needle. I keep mine in this cute little case. Um, so tapestry needle to weave in the ends later. And then I am using this wool worsted um, yarn. It's an upcycle. I really like it in the Armorillo color. And this is also found on Knit Picks. So let's get started. To begin, we are going to cast on 20 stitches. I will be using the long tail cast on and I'm going to leave even more extra length because I will use my tail end to help attach this to that circle ring later. If you want an instructional video a bit slower of the long tail cast on, I will have that on my blog and in this pattern. Once you've cast on 18 stitches, it is time to do our very first row. Now this is a really, really simple repeat. It's a four row repeat. And I chose a simple version of the honeycomb stitch just because it's super relaxing, quick to work up. You could do it while you watch your favorite show and it's nice for gifts. So for our very first row, all we're going to do is knit. See how easy this is so far? Our very first row is just a row of knitting. And if you want to do this that's wider or a thinner band, you can. You simply cast on in multiples of two, and you can even use a bulky weight yarn and just um, cast on the width that you are wanting to do. Now when we are ready for row two, this is also pretty simple, we are going to knit our very first stitch and then our next stitch with the yarn in the back, we are going to slip it purlwise, which means we'll enter it from the right to the left and simply slip it off without working it. And then we will knit our next stitch and then slip the next stitch purlwise. And that is it. That is our repeat across this row. So simply knitting and slipping purlwise, keeping your yarn in the back. And then as we get to the end, we'll do our last knit and then slip. And we are ready to do row three. Guess how easy row three is? Row three is simply a row of knitting. So we're just going to knit every stitch across for row three. And now for row four. So row four is also very easy. We are going to slip our very first stitch purlwise with the yarn in the back and knit the next stitch. And that's all we do across. We slip purlwise and knit. Slip purlwise and knit. Now that is our four row repeat. What happens on this side is our slip stitches are alternated, which will give a great honeycomb effect. I'm going to work this until it's the, the amount of inches I want for my headband, so you do the same. Row one and three are simply knitting. They're just knit stitches. And then on row two, you're going to knit the first stitch, slip the next stitch across. And row four, you're going to slip the first stitch, knit the next stitch across. So it's quite a simple repeat. And I also have the instructions written on my blog. And that's all you're going to be doing until we reach the length that we want, and then we'll come back. So once you have the length knitted that you need for this ear warmer, or just simply it's a head wrap, I'm gonna probably be wearing this in summer too to hide all my frizzy ends, but we are going to do a simple bind off where we will knit the first stitch, then knit the second stitch, 
and then we are going to pass the first stitch over the second and then we'll knit the next stitch pass the stitch over the stitch we just knitted and we're going to work that across there's no reason to do any type of fancy bind off because all of this will be hidden we're going to be stitching these ends around our ring so just a simple bind off will do once you have all those stitches off your needles you can go ahead and cut your yarn leaving a long enough tail to do a little bit of seaming here around the ring and then grab your tapestry needle and this is actually a pretty quick finish it's not too complicated all right so i'm going to be taking my ring and i'm going to be placing the one of the edges it really doesn't matter which edge you start with through the ring and around the back so we're kind of just folding it over and feel free to spread out in this space i'm going to bring my needle through here and you can use a little bit of this ring space to do this edge so we don't want to have this be too bulky so we really just want to fold it over the ring just enough to be able to stitch it together so once i've got that around the ring i'm just going to do some simple stitches these are very textured stitches so they're going to hide our stitching pretty well but i'm just going to do some simple sewing here to attach this to my ring so now i'm going to take the tail end of my starting side and i'm going to go ahead and place my end through including my needle because i'll need it on through that ring to be able to start sewing and i'm going to do the same thing as i did for the last side of this and i'm going to stitch this around this half of the ring And now there is our awesome new head wrap. So you can kind of push these to show the ring if you want, or you can bring them together and hide the ring and have a really cool effect right there in the center. So I'm really excited for this. I hope you are. It's a really fun, quick, easy pattern, and I hope you enjoy it.